in all honesty, for those of you guys that are able to drink, how much of you guys drink? I need, uh, like, I need numbers because I need to know whether or not I need help. Oh my God. My thighs are definitely not the high points in my life at this moment, but my skin is feeling fabulous. <laughs> we are on week three of our Throwback Thursday. We're gonna go ahead and grab our basket, which I have here, and we're gonna get started. I have a couple different options to choose from. I'm thinking I wanna grab this one here, which is the Milk Makeup. I haven't really played with this, but this here is the Cooling Water one. So we'll go ahead and try this out and see how that plays out for us. This is foundation and concealer. I'm just gonna quickly grab something. Um, I kind of wanna do a mixture. What do you, I mean, I always do a mixture. What am I thinking, Steph? You know what? Let's do a little bit of the Bare Minerals. I always get questions about this still. Let's do the Bare Minerals, shall we? For concealer, I definitely need two concealers. So I need a concealer to highlight with, which let's take, ooh, let's do this one. This is the Woke Concealer. We just used our foundation, which is phenomenal. And I have the shade T2, which might be a little light, but it's okay. We can mix it with what I'm gonna use to conceal with. So now we move into face powder. We need powder for underneath the eyes. Let's do this. Let's do the CoverGirl True Blend Powder. This is the translucent. So I have two of them. I have translucent and I have banana and highlight. Okay, so last week we did a highlighting palette. So this week let's do a regular highlighter. I'm kind of thinking I kind of want to go in with the Steve Laurent. This is something that we got in our Ipsy bag, this jelly highlighter. You know what? Let's go in with some good old MAC, shall we? This is MAC's Soft and Gentle. And I also have MAC's, what's this? Oh Darling, which one should we go in with? I feel like we need to do a MAC. Let's do Soft and Gentle, shall we? So last week I had used the Huda Beauty and I kind of want to do something cool tone this week. I don't know if I should do drugstore just because I'm getting ready to do a tutorial that's like $5 and under. I'm going to hold off on using this selection really quick just because I am doing a drugstore video this week. It is a like $5 and under only tutorial. So you guys let me know if there's something in here you guys want to see for next week's video. But otherwise let's move back into another influencer palette. These two palettes so far were the most requested that I've gotten to play around with. I kind of want to do the So Jaded palette only because it's got more colorful looks and I think I could pull a little bit more of a cooler tone look on this. Let's do the So, the so Jaded palette. Welcome back to number four of our series. We're going to go ahead and get started with the brows because I do want to do the eyes first. So I think that doing the brows would be the smart way to go. So what I've been doing, I can tell you that quarantine has been really great to my brows. What I've been doing is I've been taking the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. I don't want a whole lot of product, but I just want to get the brows kind of nice and fluffy. And kind of like to wiggle that brush in between the brows so it really kind of pushes them up. So I am going to be taking the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim pencil and this is in black brown. Now I do have to define mine quite a bit because I don't have hardly any brows. So I'm going to define it right on the inner corner, definitely around the edges. I'm going to take hair like strokes and kind of run it through the inner part of my brows. The part that has to have a little bit more color to it is definitely on the top end of my brows because that is where I have the least amount of brows and where I'm really trying to focus on growing my brows. Go in with the Benefit Give Me a Brow. And I'm gonna be taking this and I use the shade 4.5. I'm gonna be running that along the areas where I need a little bit more depth. So it would be right in the inner corner and then also on the outer corner. And I think my plan today is to do something with those blues. I played around with the blues before, but I kind of want to keep it more springy. Like I definitely want to take this aquamarine and kind of run it all over the eye and maybe add a little bit of opal um, on the eyes there. Um, but because we are going to work a little bit more vibrant colors, I'm going to be taking the um, ABH eye primer. And then I'm just going to blend it out using the Morphe M334. I'm going to be taking a little bit of my Precious and I'm going to use that to dust all over the lid, kind of set everything. Okay, taking that same color, I think my plan is actually to dive into a Geodude and use that kind of all over the lid. I don't know why, but I'm getting an idea that maybe this color would be a little bit better. It's kind of like a camo green. This will be the base for all of the colors that we use. 
and I kind of want it to be a little bit more blown out because I want it to kind of take over so you can see that kind of peeking through also. So I'm gonna take it pretty high above the brow bone. Actually, I know, I had this idea that I was gonna take it, but I think I'm gonna take a little bit of jade to the eye. I'm still gonna use that blue, but I think I wanna take jade. What do you think? I think I'm gonna take jade. Let's see. So this one's just really gonna go right in the crease and it's gonna define the crease a little bit more. And I'm using an M505 from Morphe. You can see I'm still keeping it relatively lower than the first color. Um, and I'm trying to keep my eye open, that way I don't go too high with this color. I'm gonna try to work the shade turquoise into the crease. And I'm also going to bring it on the outer corner of the eye. Kind of like that. Looks a little patchy right now, but don't worry. We're going to go in with the aquamarine shade. So let's go in and cut the crease really quickly. I have the crease cut. First things first, I want to go in and take a little bit more of that aquamarine shade and kind of just pack it on the outer corners. And I'm going to start popping that right on the lid. Let's go in and finish up on the lower lash line also. I'm going to take Sapphire and run that up against the lash line. Then I'm going to go back in with a Turquoise and I'm going to run that right below it. Let me go ahead and finish up this eye and pop on some lashes and then I'll figure out what I want to do for the water line. The eye looks a little bit more intense than I had originally planned to do. I had this idea that it was going to be like a swept, light, light, airy blue eye look. And um, no, it's anything but that. The blue is a little patchy. I've noticed that the last couple times I've worked with that blue on that palette. Um, and I always forget it until I play around with the palette. But that deep, deep, like dark blue, that midnight blue, always gets really patchy for me. So that's the only color I have found that I don't like in that palette. So let's move ahead and move into the waterline. I do want to color the waterline. I just can't decide. I have two of them to choose from. I was thinking either the Full Spectrum by CoverGirl or I have this purple one by Pixie. I don't know. I'm like, I kind of want it to be bright, you know? I want it to like really stand out and I feel like the green may pop, but I don't know that I've ever used this in the waterline. So we're going to try it out together. Mm, you can barely see it. Can you even tell? Can you tell? You know, I feel like it might be easier if I take a shadow and pop it in there with a white liner. I'm diving into my Urban Decay Electric palette um, and I'm going to take this bright electric green. So it's going to be kind of hard to see unless you're like super super close to me, but I don't know. I think it adds a little bit of a touch. Can you see it? Probably not. You know, having a new like filming space has made this really difficult for me to figure out where the hell everything's at. I have two primers that I'm going to be using. The first one is this right here, which is by Milk Makeup. This is the Milk Makeup Cooling Water, and it's just a little sample size of it, but we're going to try it out. I've used this like once or twice. I didn't really see anything with it. Honestly, I should probably figure out what it's for because I'm not really sure. But the real baby that we're going to be using today is the Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Master Prime. I'm going to use this to pour and minimize. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my brush. You do not need a lot with this. Otherwise, your skin will feel super slick. And I'm just going to take it and just brush it all over the skin. I don't know how I feel about using a brush for primer. I mean, I get it. It minimizes like contact from your hands to your face. But... I feel like I can't tell if it got the primer in there. And for some primers, I feel like you really have to like push into it. And I don't feel like I get that. So whether you're using the Bare Minerals powder foundation or whatever, pressed powder or however you like to use it, always apply your concealers first. Always apply your concealer first um, because it's going to help minimize the blotchiness on the skin and it's going to cover up anything you need and it's less powder you have to put onto your skin after. You can definitely see that there are certain spots on my skin that definitely are going to need a little bit more help than what the powder foundation is going to do. So I'm going to go in with the Stay Naked Concealer. This is the Urban Decay. If you're going to be using a concealer under your powder foundation, go in with something that's a little bit lighter than your skin tone, especially if you don't know if it's 
going to oxidize throughout the day because the worst thing, and it's happened to me numerous times, that's gonna happen is you're gonna put it on your skin, then you're gonna go over it with powder, and then when you get out in the sun or wherever it is that you're at, you're gonna notice spots, and it's because your concealer has darkened throughout the day. Same thing with under eye concealer. This is right around the good, this is right around the time where you're gonna wanna go in with under eye concealer and apply it. I'm going to go in and blend it out. You can use anything to blend out that you have. I prefer to use like some sort of a brush. This one here is the Morphe M334. I absolutely love this brush to blend out under eye concealer and stuff. So if you're looking for like a good under eye concealer, this is a really good brush to get. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to powder underneath my eyes first. I picked out the True Blend CoverGirl, the CoverGirl True Blend. So I think what I'm going to take first though is I want to definitely go in with the translucent one to see how it plays and then I'm gonna fan underneath my eyes using the Luxie precision foundation so today we're gonna be taking the fairly medium by bare minerals and you're just gonna swirl and then tap all the excess off I'm just gonna stamp on my skin like this not swirling yet I'm just stamping stamping is gonna give me the most product and I need the product to be packed on right here because this is my most problematic areas. But even so, I always recommend with stamping first. And the one thing I like about this foundation, you guys, is that I can wear this foundation all day into the night, like super long, and I don't ever feel like it breaks me out, like it does not break me out. You can see again, I'm just gonna swirl, tap. Once you got that all stamped, which I did on my skin, this is where you go in and buff. And I'm gonna take it in circular motions and also very lightly. I am barely touching my skin. And this is just gonna ensure that everything kind of meshes in with that concealer and the powder. <laughs> the corner's gonna look at my lungs and be like, this bitch had so much powder on her in her lungs. We're gonna go in and take the Benefit Hula Bronzer and I'm going to be using my Joa. This is the Joa Large Powder Brush. I feel like this, these are way too bright. I, mean, yeah, I can't believe I'm going to tell you this, but I'm going to anyways. Um, I've been like super obsessed with these stupid casino games. Like non-stop casino games. You guys, I have like an addiction with them and I can't seem to put it down. That's, that's my life right now. I can't seem to put these casino games down. Like I'll be sitting there and like we'll be watching a show and all of a sudden you'll hear me like, you know, go like, oh my god, I won! I think the reason why I don't like Animal Crossing is, or Animal Crossing, whatever you call it, the one that's for the phone, I think the reason I don't like it is because I feel like there's no clear definition on what I'm supposed to do exactly. Like, what is my gang goal? What's my end plan? How does it work? Like, I was walking around, and then, like, I walk up to some creature, and they're, like, hanging out in my area, and I'm like, so what am I supposed to do? And it's like, give me, like, 15 apples. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing on that app. No idea no freaking clue um so it hasn't been really fun like at first i was trying to force myself to like it because everybody was liking it but the other app that i've been super obsessed with and i think you guys are going to see me more on there more than instagram like i cannot get off of twitter like i'm all over twitter and i know twitter's like nothing new like everybody's been on it for a while but like i couldn't get on the bandwagon for a while because i couldn't figure out what the hell was so great about it that's the first thing i check in the morning is my twitter and tiktok for highlight, we're going to be taking Max Soft and Gentle. I don't even know if this works. I've had this for a long time. Again, back to that whole, I need a declutter. Maybe I could do a combo, but this is super matte. I kind of want to do the Essence one because I feel like it's just a little bit more hydrating. Also, I need to know how much you guys have been drinking since this quarantine. For my own sake, I need to know if I'm on par with everybody else or... I need to rethink some choices in my life. So just let me know in the below. So I'm gonna go ahead and I was gonna use both of them, but I think I'm gonna use this because I kind of like that this matches kind of there too. This is just the KKW lip liner. This is in shade number four, I think. Uh, nude two, number two. So I'm just gonna line it like that. And then for the top of my lips, I'm gonna go in with the color boost. This is in the shade Mad About Matte. And I'm only gonna apply it in the center because I still like that lip liner. So I kind of want to make it fade. Why isn't it taking this long for me to come up and find this combo? I'm going to take the shade Pearl. Pop it with a little bit of setting spray because I really want it to really be intense. And then 
all right guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i'm looking at it and i'm like i'm pretty sure i've done this look before like this looks very similar to something else i've done so i apologize um i was really going more for like a brighter green but this is just what ended up happening so anyways i hope you guys still enjoyed the look though and i hope you guys had fun time hanging out with me for a little bit i hope you guys are staying safe thank you so much for watching me i feel your pain I don't want to be quarantined and stay inside either, but please just stay inside. I'm so sick and tired of like going on Twitter and seeing people like hanging out at the beaches and having parties and stuff. Like just stay inside. You're, you're making it worse for all of us who are sitting inside waiting to get the green light to go outside, which even half, even when the green light comes on, you know, half of us are going to be like, you go first. I ain't going first. I won't be the first one out. I'm going to let, I'm going to let other people go test the waters and then maybe I'll walk out. So I love you guys. Thank you all so much for watching today's video and spending a little bit of time with me. If you guys are new to my channel, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. We do throwback tutorial Tuesdays here on my channel. It is a new series that I started, but I will have a playlist for you guys. If you guys want to check out the other ones that I've done, please let me know down below what other palettes you guys want to see in my videos. I do keep a track of them. I actually have them written down. So that way when we go on to the next drawers, I kind of have an idea of what a majority of people are still wanting to see and what palettes they want to be used. So love you guys and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.